So once you're in an edit mode, you can start changing the contour lines. I'll zoom in. You can change them by dragging the points. Or what I like to do is I like to create completely new uh, contour points. And to do that, I like to draw out the contour lines to visualize them before I place the points by drawing them out with model lines. So to do that, I'll go to the Home tab, choose the Model Line tool, and then just start drawing out a path. If you don't see your line like this, it's probably because your graphic styles is set to a view that where your topography is covering up the line. To change that, go to your model graphic style at the bottom of the screen, click on it, choose wireframe, and that will let you see through your topo model to the model lines. So using the model line tool, I'll just start tracing out a path for these new contour lines to follow. In this case, for say a parking lot. And once I have some drawn, I'm going to come in here and start placing new points along that path. To do that, I, I need to understand what the elevation of this current contour line is. By selecting a point, you'll see its elevation in the option bar at the top of the screen. So this contour line is at 958 feet. I'll let it escape a couple times. Click the Edit Surface tab, and then click the Place Point tool. And now I'll set my elevation to be the same. And then as I hover over the line, the points snap to the line and serve as a guide for me to start clicking. And you'll notice that the contour line moves to these new points that I place. Then usually I come back and delete the old obsolete points. And you can use this process to change all your contour lines throughout. So for the next contour line, I'll hover and select the point, and it's at 957 feet. So going back to the place point tool, I'll reset my elevation and just hover over the, the new edge to change the contour. I'll go ahead and fast forward through this process to change a few contour lines. Now that I'm done changing all the contours, I'll just hit finish surface, which brings me out of the edit mode. You can see uh, new contour lines laid and the existing ones laid too. I'll go ahead and delete those model lines out that, used, that I used as guides by just doing a lasso selection. And using the filter tool, I can choose those lines. Click OK. Now that they're selected, delete them out. You can see the existing topo that lines have them filled in as dash lines showing where they used to be. Um, again, if you don't want to see um, both in this view, you can change the phase filter settings by click, right clicking in white space, go to view properties, and in the phase filter, instead of showing all of the elements, you can just show the new uh, site and click OK. I'll go ahead and uh, undo that. So now the real advantage to this tool by using the grade region instead of just modifying the topo is it's comparing the modifications you made to the new site with your old existing site that was demoed out. And so by selecting it, you can look at its element properties by clicking on the instance properties. And at the bottom of the window, you'll notice a fill and cut values and the net of the both. And that automatically calculates. So if you want to start drawing uh, site work, for example, uh, if I wanted to start drawing a road in here, I don't just want to draw it with line work, uh, but I want to drape the line work over the existing contours to follow the landscape. To do that, you use the subregion tool, which is located in the Massing and Site tab, and then click Subregion. Doing that brings you into a sketch mode where you can start drawing out the road. For example, I'll use a spline tool so I can start drawing out a smoothly meandering road. And I won't draw the whole thing. You'll get the idea. Um, I could just draw one edge of it. And then if I use the Pick Lines tool, there's an offset option in the options bar. You can change that to whatever the offset should be, like 35 feet. And hovering over the line, well, let me place the edge next to it uh, to give me a nice equal road. 
And before you finish out, um, your subregion needs to be a closed loop. So I'll just cap off the ends. At the top and the other open end. Now if I hit finish subregion, it will drape the, the line work over the topo and you can see this in a 3D view that it's also following the contours. You don't also have to just draw this from scratch. You can use the pick lines tool to pick the existing line work that may have been drawn by the civil engineer in the AutoCAD file. To bring the CAD file back up as a background, I'll go ahead and reload it from the links manager. At the manage tab, choose manage links. Under the CAD formats tab, choose the drawing and click reload. And then okay. It'll bring back the entire drawing um, and I can filter out the layers and hide the ones I don't want to see by going back to visibility and graphics. Under the imported categories tab, I'll expand the, the AutoCAD drawing and first select all the layers by choosing the top one and the bottom one with the, sl with the shift key and then clicking in one to make them disappear. And then I'll go back in and I'll choose the layers that have the line work that I need for the roads. When I have the layers selected, I'll hit OK. And now um, I can create a subregion and pick the edges of the existing line work from the CAD drawing by going to Massing and Site, choose Subregion, and choose the Pick Lines tool in the ribbon at the top. And here I can go around selecting the edges to create my subregion. I'll fast forward this so you get the idea. Again, before I finish, I need to make sure that it's a closed loop um, and trim all the corners. Then click Finish Subregion. And the advantage now is I have uh, the road work. I, I didn't finish the whole thing, but you get the idea. I have the road work. It's exactly how it sh in the position it should be, and it's draped over uh, the contour edges. The tool called Building Pad under the Massing and Site tab lets you place flat regions in your um, model for things like parking lots and it lets you uh, depress the ground for basements for your building. So if I click on building pad it brings me into sketch mode where I can draw out a region where my parking lot would be. I'll hit finish building pad and now if, if I place a section in my model you can see uh, what it's done. It's created essentially a slab, which I can select and change its offset to either depress the earth or build up a plinth. 